we are on board the 27 game fish that I have for sale. It's a 2014 twin 150 Yamahas. And just want to give you a quick walkthrough. Um, I guess we'll start here at the transom. We'll work our way up to the bow. So we've got the twin Yamahas. We have the transom door. We have storage here. I love this storage. It's the perfect spot for dock lines. Um, some people like to also throw their shoes, flip-flops in there, whatever. Bow ladder. Here we've got transom fish box. Big, deep fish box. We're here in Tampa, Florida. This fish box is perfect for grouper, snapper. You start catching those big, long kings or something, um, they should still fit because, you know, diagonally, you'll fit them in there pretty good. Got live well number one right here with the acrylic lid. We've got a fold-up seat, which honestly we never use. We just keep it folded down. I could take it off the boat. Uh, it doesn't get in the way. I never feel like my feet are hitting it or anything like that. So that's probably why I haven't taken it off. Um, down here, you have uh, those two access panels. One is to the gas tank. The other one is to the um, live well pumps. Underneath uh, here, mezzanine seating, which is a bit of a love-hate for some people. I think once you're on the boat and you use it, you'll see that it's actually a nice feature. And it's live well number two under there as well, or just use it for storage or use it as a cooler. You've got four rod holders right here. Four rod rocket launcher there. Kingfish rod holders, your spreader lights, JL Audio speakers in the T-top. Plenty of cup holders on this boat as well. That's always, not always, but sometimes it's amazing how poorly set up some of these boats were. We've also added uh, more, so we'll go through that in a moment. Uh, in the leaning post here, lots of storage. Lots of storage, and on this side, we have fresh water wash down and lots of tackle storage. A couple of Plano boxes, three drawers. It's a good setup, and more storage here. So, for you guys that are serious about fishing, this boat is very well equipped. For those of you that want to cruise into the sandbar thing, it's also well equipped. Uh, up here, we have a little glove box electronic box as well the helm this is all redone in april two garmin 1243 xsvs fusion 670 head unit a single garmin 943 that i primarily use as my gauges uh as my yamaha gauges but it's nice because it can do all the functions of these plotters so for example at the sandbar i might convert that and run the stereo off from that instead of the head unit um some of the features of the stereo through the chart plotter are actually more intuitive in my opinion. So, um, but it's excellent. Have your charts, have your sonar, have your gauges while you're running. Makes it really nice for fishing. Uh, there's the binnacle, the twin 150s, big bolsters. I like these leaning posts a lot uh, because I have a four year old. So, she is held in there nicely when we're underway and if it gets a little choppy no worries about her falling out 10 inch subwoofer we'll move up midships see bolsters all the way around they're in good shape we added a rod holder midship and in the bow i do have the cushions for the boat right now they're just they're in the uh, console two new eight inch scar audio speakers second 10 inch subwoofer so really good sound quality it's not overwhelming uh, I mean I guess if you want it to be it, it can be but it's just good solid sound quality uh, on the stereo you've got uh, in deck fish box and more dry storage here in the bow I have uh, the life jackets on one side and I have like my secondary uh, stern anchor and stuff like that in there come around to the console got the cushions in here 
have my EPIRB, my two amplifiers for the stereo. Down there you've got the lithium batteries. There's three of those 12 volts. And then there's another, uh, the 50 amp hour 12 volts. And then there's a 100 amp hour 12 volt for the house system. So the lithium battery is awesome. It's a Bluetooth app, Bluetooth smart battery for the house battery. And we ran the stereo all day at the sandbar. And because it's hooked up to the charge lead off the motors, gets charged while you're while you're running so it almost never drains down but if it does we've got the four bank charger which you can't see it's but it's down there there's a noco four bank charger to uh, recharge everything last but certainly not least for the fishing crowd 84 inch rodan this is brand new and works great uh unfortunately I haven't been able to get out and fish as much and use it as much as i'd like Probably only got about six to eight hours use on it, but it works amazing. Um, yeah, I've been out with it twice, probably used it about four hours each time, and I wanna say my batteries were only drawn down to like 92%. Uh, and one day in particular was very windy, a lot of current. So that thing works fantastic. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, again, it's 2014 Sea Hunt Game Fish 27. It can be yours.